Temperatures are going to be on the cool side. It is going to feel very much like fall. We will have a little bit of clearing as we head into that lunchtime hour, but our attention now turns to this next cold front here. This is cold front number two for the week, and it's going to be playing out very similar to the one that moved through yesterday. We're not going to see much as far as rainfall totals. We're going to get just kind of the tail end of this, and it's going to bring us some more clouds to the area and maybe a few sprinkles, but that's about it. But behind this, we'll actually have some gusty wind. So here we are, timing of this cold front. Looks like it's gonna be pushing through starting around that evening commute. So around dinner time, we'll start to see those, I should say later on this afternoon, we'll start to see those clouds start to increase. And then as we head into that evening commute time, 5, 6 p.m., we could see a few sprinkles out on those roadways. So it could make some of those roads a little bit damp, a little bit slick in a few locations. And then as that cold front passes by, we are gonna continue to see some gusty winds. Those winds will start to pick up through the overnight hours lasting throughout the day on Wednesday. Wednesday is gonna be somewhat of a transitional day because by the time we head into Thursday, we have a little bit of a ridging happening. That's gonna gradually start to warm us up a little bit. We'll start to see a little bit of a warm up tomorrow and a bit more sunshine across the area tomorrow. But on Thursday, it's looking like a beautiful day across the central coast. We're going to continue to see some nicer weather as we head into Friday before we have the increasing clouds returning to our area. And we are going to watch this next system that looks like it could be approaching our area this weekend. This is another cold front. And again, we're just going to catch the tail end of it, not expecting much from this next system here. So that is something we'll continue to watch for you. But we're going to just continue to watch the one that's going to move through our area later on this evening. We are going to be waking up to widespread low clouds out there. We do have a mix of low clouds and high clouds. We are dealing with some drizzle this morning and some patchy fog. In fact, getting several fog reports along Highway 1 uh, from the peninsula up into the Watsonville Aptos area. We're also see getting a fog report on Pacheco Pass as well this morning. Now, we will actually clear out as we head into that lunchtime hour. It is going to be a beautiful start, or I should say early afternoon. So we are going to see mostly sunny conditions from the coast who are in the locations. Enjoy it because we, as we head into the latter part of the afternoon, we'll start to see those clouds increase. And here's that cold front approaching and we'll just have these very light showers bringing us maybe just a sprinkle or two. Again, not expecting any heavy rainfall out of this system. Once it passes through at midnight, that's when we're going to start to see those winds pick up and those winds actually hinder us from seeing widespread cloud cover. So our overnight lows are actually going to be cooler, but also on top of that, we're not going to have as much moisture in the air. So overnight lows are going to be dropping back into those 40s for those valley locations and mainly low to mid 50s tomorrow morning. Let's talk about those winds. We will have those gusty conditions pick up in the valley later on this afternoon. Pretty typical for this time of year and then those winds will die down. But as we head into that midnight hour, they'll pick back up and we'll continue to see those gusty winds throughout the day on Wednesday, not just for the valleys. We're going to see those gusty winds around the immediate coast. If you're around the peninsula, you're going to feel those winds coming off of the water and around the Big Sur coast as well. But look at this winds off uh, across the water there are going to be in those th that 30 mile per hour range. And we're going to see those gusty winds as well for some of those higher elevations. Those winds will be sticking around for the majority of the day, but they will start to ease as we head into the overnight hours Wednesday into Thursday morning. We do have a gale warning. This will go into effect at 3 a.m. lasting till 3 a.m. on Thursday. Northwest winds 20 to 30 knots, gusts up to 40. Hazardous seas for mar mariners, but also if you're along the immediate coast there, you're going to feel those strong winds off the water. Not a huge rainmaker for us. We're going to be under a tenth of an inch across the central coast. So again, just a few sprinkles this evening is what is, what is expected. And then as we head into the afternoon highs today, you can expect mostly 60s and 70s at the coast and mostly 70s for our inland locations.